Who's he gone to? Jordan Nathan in most third down situations. Love does not have space. Boogie Basham closed it off. The top pass rusher for the Deeks has his first sack of the year. Big year from Boogie Basham. Said so if he doesn't come up with 15 sacks. Now Sam Howell back to work. Wanted to take a shot. Ran out of time. Carlos Basham. Great man. And Adam, you mentioned they're trying to take a shot. Amari Henderson jumped that hitch route earlier in the game. Syracuse didn't look too good against Maryland last He's week. He's given up a lot of points, though. That's a four-touchdown underdog against Clemson. Sam Howell running out of time again. Excellent coverage downfield by Wake Forest. And Boogie Basham closes it out. He does it from the left. He does it from the right. He's got a lot of potential, but I'll tell you what, I know you got, when it's third and long, that's what a pass rusher, a sack master, that's what they're looking for. That's what they're living for. The second false start or illegal procedure, per, uh, you know, pre-snap penalty that they've had tonight. I think it's a third, but the clap was an advantage for them against Miami. Tonight's been getting them a little bit. I think was fine. looking deep. You get good coverage downfield once again by this Wake Forest secondary. Short pass and then they're going deep. And really, Wake Forest just isn't taking it. This is another sluggo, slant and go. Wake Forest is like, we're not buying it. And as often, we'll see double tight end formation, which we do for Boston College to start the game. Here's Dylan. Can't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll be dropped for a loss. Boogie Basham, we'll call his name often today. He's in on the tackle. First and 10 for Boston College. Gives it Bailey. Spun down. Boogie Basham. And just other mistakes on offense, it's really cost them. But you know, you talked about it before the game, Tim, how Louisville came in playing their best football of the year. And in many ways, that has shown up tonight. Ball with nowhere to go, just the final seconds of the first half. Basham with the stop. That he'll end up responding well on this drive. Nothing there for Hall as Basham was all over him. And took him down for the loss. A factor for Wake tonight, unlike any other game maybe all season long for them. As Hawkins is stacked up by McCollum. Fitz will just kick a field goal. Hawkins, well, they smell that one out. Basham was there to meet him, along with Bergen. And nothing but field goals tonight. Yeah, that, that's been a bright spot for Florida State, as has Cam Akers. Blackman tied up. Nowhere to run there. Basham gets to him quickly. First down and 10 at the nine-minute mark here in the third. On the drive again, it's Akers. Stopped by Basham eventually. Now Wake is acting like they have recovered a fumble on the play. His first series as a starter, making the right decision. Play action here. Larry in trouble and spun to the ground. At the 42-yard line, Travion Reed go with an RPO and you're going to see pressure off the left hand side. Larry thinks he can beat it as he tries to escape outside but a nice job defensively by Red grabbing the shoulder. Fake to King. Pressure comes. Hooker's going to go down. Boogie Basham was in the backfield and dropped the Virginia Tech quarterback. Boogie Basham right here is going to come up and under the tackle. I want you to watch his hands. Right, boom, right there. He knocks down the left hand of the offensive tackle. And if you do not have your hands to use on the offensive line, you will get beat. Boogie Basham right there for another sack. What Wake Forest and Dave Clawson realized was we came after Clemson too much. We, we gave up way too many big plays because of the blitz, and they're, they're going to try to play a little bit more patient today defensively. ETN bouncing off tacklers. Gets outside and eventually ends up losing a couple of yards. Chased out by Boogie Basham. And off Jackson. A little bit of room to maneuver up the middle before he was stopped by Basham. And he'll gain five. Tell you what, Wake is leaning on Duke because the way they've been running the football. Duke's got to get something going offensively. So that is up to Quentin Harris. No time to throw it. He's bottled up. Down he goes. Carlos Basham. 
First down, throwing again as he steps up. Now he's flushed out, tied up, and down he goes. Sacked on the play by Tyler Williams. Delmore and Howard in the backfield. Welch hands it to Howard. He runs into Basham. And he rips him to the turf for a loss of one on third and goal. It is fourth down for the Orange. For his dancing, but this is just a straight-up mosh pit. Getting in there and standing them up, Boogie and company, and it takes a band of brothers, as we've seen a couple times, to end this football game. He's 45 of 52 in his career.